Hey, in this video, I'm going to do a refresh on an older video where we talked about how to set up Let's Encrypt on your Windows server to get a SSL certificate. They've changed the name of everything and a couple of the steps. So we're going to go over today the Windows Acme Simple WACS implementation on Windows. Stay tuned. Hey, this is David with TechSmart Boss here with another video. One of my most popular videos in the past was how to use Let's Encrypt uh, and get an SSL certificate on a Windows server. And a lot has changed with that product I recommended. In fact, the whole name and everything's changed. So I want to do a new one as I was actually setting up a new SSL certificate on this fresh Windows 2019 server. So the new name is WinAcme. And what I'm, I'm, I'll put this link in the description, github.com slash PKI sharp slash win dash Acme. And that'll bring you to the page where you could download. And what I'm going to do is just scroll down here. It's going to be located in the uh, assets page. Let's go to releases. It'll show you what the latest release is. We're going to get this 2.0.81. I'm going to scroll down to the assets. I'm going to download this one right here called win Acme without any of the you know other stuff on it you can read those and take a look at what those are I'm gonna right click on this and say save target as put this in my downloads folder and hit save so I've got a just a regular old IIS server here let's take a look at my IIS and um, I've got a pretty simple one here I've just got a default web client on this one so nothing too sophisticated I don't have any IP binding set up I don't have any SSL certificates already on this site just plain blank out of the box and what I want to do is put a SSL certificate in place so let's go ahead open up this let's extract all the information here into the downloads folder so we'll extract that all right and I'm here and I see that there's a scripts directory everything here looks pretty standard there's our application file right there so now let's bring up a command prompt I type CMD in the uh, little search bar there but you can do whatever let's go to the downloads directory and uh oh, i'm doing ls this is on windows let's do dir let's go into that win acme dot v2 dot zero dot eight dot 356 i could have changed that uh, name to be a little bit easier there and now let's go dot slash let's let's make this let's move this up so you can see what i'm doing here dot slash meaning it's inside this directory wacs.exe and hit enter there and actually it did not like that so I'm going to just try wacs yeah there we go all right so you'll see th the reason I like this one one you don't have to get into installing all sorts of things in IIS and doing more coding I mean it's just all compiled it's ready to go it gives you a nice little menu here and you'll see in to create new ones um, that's a simple one. You can also do wildcard things now that I couldn't do before. Uh, you can renew your things. Everything that I did in the first video is still here, plus a whole bunch more. Uh, I'm gonna do. Let's do. Let's do in just to see what that one looks like. You'll see here, just a simple binding, pretty pretty easy. Let's go back and look at M and see what M looks like, see what it gives us a little bit differently. So SAN certificates, uh, manual options, looks pretty much the same thing. I'm going to stick with N for this because I just have a really simple binding that I want to do. I'm going to press 1 and you'll notice that there's no sites with name bindings. So now what I want to do is go into my default website and add that binding. Remember I told you there's no bindings? I'm going to go in there and add the binding and I'm going to edit this and put the host name that I want. In this case I want example.yerbyonline.com is what I've got my DNS set up for and, and everything set up properly. So let's go ahead and add that binding. Now watch this. 
I'm going to try that again and press 1. Hmm. Now, why did it not do that here? You know, I probably need to recycle IIS after I made this. Let's do that. Let's restart IIS. So I'm going to go to default website, manage website, and just click the restart. And in fact, I'm going to restart this as well, just in case it had to refresh itself. Now let's try it. In one. Here, okay, so that's a mandatory step. It looks like either refreshing IIS after you put that binding in place or restarting uh, this. I would guess it's the is it, it was the restarting IIS that did it. So you'll see now, I've got my binding, example.yearbyonline.com. I'm going to choose that, number one, and boom, it's going to go out there. Wants to know, enter email for notifications about problems and abuse. So I'm going to go ahead and put my techsmartboss.com email address in there. And now, yeah, this is a little bit different. Uh, open uh, terms of service. I don't need to see the terms of service. I'm going to just uh, agree to that. Do you agree with the terms? Yeah, so you'll notice here the one that they have a little asterisk is going to be the default if you just hit enter. I'm going to go ahead and hit Y. I agree with the terms. And now it's going to go out there. It's going to make sure that everything is good. It's going to make my um, certificate. And it's done. Now let's take a look and see what it did. Uh, if I look in my bindings now, should have added, and it did an HTTPS by default. You'll see that there. Um, if I look at SSL settings, probably want to go in here and say require SSL now. You don't have to, but that's always a good thing to have when you have that SSL certificate on there. Let's go to the browser, and this is the old site. That should still work because I'm not requiring SSL. Let's put that HTTPS in there now, and there it is. Uh, it worked. I've got my little lock symbol here. It has uh, been validated. Let's view certificates, and you'll notice that it set this up to be uh, to go out three months, 10-25-2019. And if I come back in here, and if I hit the L, which is for list scheduled renewals, you'll see that that's in there, and it tells it's due after 9:20. So it's going to give about a month notice of when you want to review it. What you would do is just come back in here, run this program, and hit the R to say uh, renew scheduled. Uh, so pretty simple, uh, brand new uh, interface. New executable, new name, new those things, but everything else pretty much stays the same. So hopefully this helps you guys out there as much as the first video did. And if you like these kind of videos, just be sure to subscribe to the Tech Smart Boss YouTube channel. Go out to our Facebook page. Go out to TechSmartBoss.com. See all the other things that we're doing and join our community. And I'll talk to you in the next video.